Last December, Queen Sylvia of Sweden celebrated her 80th birthday. However, due to the windy weather, the Queen decided to postpone the celebration until a more favorable time. She patiently waited until the weekend and celebrated for two days in the presence of the entire Swedish royal family, her Brazilian relatives and close royal guests. Among the guests were the King and Queen of Norway, the Princes of Saxe-Coburg and Princess Benedicta of Denmark. On December 23, 2023, as every year, the Queen's actual birthday coincided with the Christmas holiday. Due to Christmas preparations, she was unable to invite her friends and family. However, on Saturday, June 15, a motorcade in the courtyard of the Royal Palace in Stockholm took the Swedish press by surprise. More than 200 people were reportedly invited to this secret birthday celebration. Queen Sylvia was surrounded by her entire family and was especially pleased to welcome her youngest daughter, Princess Madeline, who had just returned from the US on Thursday. Crown Princess Victoria was accompanied by her husband, Prince Daniel, while Prince Carl Philip and his wife, Princess Sophia, also attended the event. Princess Madeline was reunited with her husband Chris O'A, who traveled from Miami especially for his mother-in-law's birthday. Queen Sylvia's grandchildren did not attend Saturday's gala, which the Queen attended in a new red dress. King Harold of Norway and Queen Sanja accepted the Swedish Queen's invitation, as did Princess Benedict of Denmark, who represented the Danish royal family. King Carl Gustaf of Sweden is a first cousin of Queen Margrethe and her sister Princess Benedict. Queen Sylvia's childhood friends also attended the event, as well as family members from Brazil, where she grew up. Members of the Somerlat family, including the Queen's nephews, nieces and cousins, were seen arriving at the royal palace. Prince Hubertus of Saxe-Coburg-Gotha and his wife Princess Kelly and Prince Poldi of Bavaria also arrived. Crown Prince Alexander of Serbia and his wife, Crown Princess Katerina, were also present. Guests arriving at the palace courtyard were photographed, followed by some behind-the-scenes shots of Queen Sylvia and Princess Madeleine in a blue tall dress by Monique Lillier. On Sunday, the festivities continued for those who had moderately celebrated on Saturday night. This time, King Harold and Queen Sandra hosted guests aboard the Norge, the royal ship on which they traveled to Sweden. Queen Sylvia's guests were able to tour the 80-meter long ship, while the princesses dressed in summer outfits for the reception aboard the Norwegian royal ship. Crown Princess Victoria wore a green dress with pink floral motifs by Timo. The reception was followed by dinner at Ulriksdal Castle in Solna to round off the festive weekend. For the second evening, Queen Sylvia invited her closest friends and family to her home, Drottningholm Palace. Queen Sylvia of Sweden celebrated her 80th birthday with a bang, organizing two days of festivities that attracted the attention of the Swedish and international press. Although the official date for her birthday was set for December, the Queen decided to celebrate in June when the weather allowed for a gathering of family and friends. On Saturday, June 15, the Royal Palace in Stockholm became the centre of attention as a parade of luxury cars and more than 200 invited guests arrived for the celebration. Among them were members of the Swedish royal family, relatives from Brazil and royal guests from Norway, Denmark and other European countries. Special attention was paid to the return of the Queen's youngest daughter, Princess Madeleine, who traveled from the United States with her husband Chris O'A Il. The Queen's grandchildren did not attend the gala on Saturday, but continued the celebrations on Sunday aboard the Norwegian royal ship Norge. The festive weekend ended with a dinner at Ulriksdal Castle in Solna and a more intimate event at Drottningholm Castle, to which the Queen invited her closest friends and family. Queen Sylvia's Jubilee was not just a celebration, but a true symbol of unity and family values. Despite her royal duties and public status, the Queen managed to create an atmosphere of warmth and intimacy and gather her closest confidants around her.
These celebrations emphasized the importance of family and tradition in the lives of monarchs and showed that even in the world of royal protocol, there is room for sincere and heartfelt moments. Queen Sylvia, surrounded by the love and care of her loved ones, showed that true happiness and joy do not depend on titles and insignia, but are in the hearts of those around her. This anniversary was a shining example of how royal traditions can combine with personal, family values to create unforgettable moments for all involved. The celebrations began on Saturday morning with a reception at the Royal Palace, where Queen Sylvia personally welcomed her guests. Royal guests and relatives from all over the world were treated to a variety of Swedish delicacies prepared by the country's best chefs. The atmosphere was warm and happy, and guests took the opportunity to renew old friendships and make new acquaintances. Many activities and entertainment programs were organized throughout the day for both adults and young guests. Of particular interest was an exhibition documenting Queen Sylvia's life and achievements over the years. The exhibition featured rare photographs, personal items and significant moments from the Queen's life that left a deep impression on the guests. In the evening, a lavish gala dinner was held in the palace's grand ballroom, where Queen Sylvia appeared in a stunning red gown specially created for the occasion. The guests were offered an exquisite menu consisting of the finest ingredients. During the dinner, there were many speeches and toasts in honor of the Queen, paying tribute to her achievements and tireless philanthropic work. The evening culminated with a spectacular light show and fireworks display that lit up the sky over Stockholm. Guests were delighted by the impressive spectacle, which brought the day's festivities to a spectacular close. On Sunday morning, the celebrations continued with a casual brunch aboard Norge, where guests had the opportunity to tour the royal ship and enjoy views of the picturesque Swedish coastline. The atmosphere was relaxed and fun, with guests swapping stories and reminiscing about the overall experience of the weekend. The festive weekend ended with an evening at Drottningholm Palace, where Queen Sylvia invited her closest friends and family members for an intimate celebration. In the cozy atmosphere of the castle, they shared memories and made plans for future meetings. To summarize, Queen Sylvia of Sweden's 80th birthday was an unforgettable event that emphasized the importance of family, friendship and tradition. The Queen showed that true joy and fulfillment can be found in the hearts of those around her and that even in the world of royal protocol there is room for sincere and heartfelt moments.